Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Lenovo ThinkPad P15 Gen 2. Now this is a mobile workstation at its finest, highly customizable, and it's definitely expensive depending on the configuration that you desire. Uh, the review unit I'm about to share with all of you that Lenovo sent over sports an Intel Core i9-11950H 8-core processor and NVIDIA RTX A5000 with 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM. We have 32 gigs of DDR4-3200 RAM on board, which is upgradable up to 128 gigs. They will also pre-build it that way if you so choose. It is dual channel, so if you're wondering, there are actually four slots on there for RAM. In addition to that, we've got a one terabyte uh, Gen 4 PCIe NVMe drive with three slots in total. So you can actually have three NVMe drives on this build that Lenovo is saying up to uh, two terabytes capacity each. And I'll probably play with that uh, when I take this thing apart. I'm not sure on the resolution. I believe this particular build has a full HD uh, panel, again, 15 and a half inches, but I know they spec this out up to 4K. The top of the line model in this specific build, I believe sells for nearly 9,000 US dollars. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. And you know, if you are looking to do photo editing, video editing, uh, work with AutoCAD, uh, basically anything, I mean, there's really no limitation in my opinion for this machine. Um, it's not a gaming machine, that's obvious because after all, it's a workstation, but it is a beast. I mean, the spec sheet that I just read you, again, highly customizable. I think this machine, I'm not sure exactly on pricing, but I know that it is expensive. I mean, when you have a build like that, it inherently will be. And as you can see, it's already been opened up. This is a review unit, some paperwork out of the gate. Let's take a look at the power brick, which I suspect will be a power brick like many others that Lenovo has um, in their previous uh, P series laptops. And that's exactly what it looks like at the 230 watt uh, power brick that they used with the previous gen. Um, the P17 is a favorite of mine. So uh, the P15 that we're looking at today, because it is actually more powerful than the P17 that I shared with all of you a while back, this is very exciting. So let's take a look. Build quality on this should be excellent. And again, I mean, there's really nothing that you could throw at this that the P15 Gen 2 should have a problem with. So in my test situation, this will likely have some uh, AutoCAD, some Revit, Photoshop. I mean, all of the creative software you could probably imagine using this with uh, from a video editing perspective, same applies. And I can already tell you, as you may have imagined, the fit and finish is excellent if you're a fan of the ThinkPad lineup, which I don't know many people that aren't that are looking to get serious things done. I'm gonna go ahead and put the power brick down. Let's take a look at the machine. And I mean, it is a beast. There's no question about it. Fairly thick, but this is about being a workstation, not about being an ultrabook. So let's not confuse the two. And if you're in the market for something like this, you already know why you're interested. I mean, these are as close to a military spec I mean, this could be on the space station. That's the way I look at uh, the P-Series when it comes spec'd out like this. So we've got a full-size SD card reader here, um, and then a Type-A port, Kensington lock. We come around to the back of the machine, and you see we've got Ethernet, the uh, actual power port for the 230-watt uh, brick that I just showed you. Then we've got some Thunderbolt 4 ports and a Type-C port. It looks like we have two Thunderbolt 4 ports. On the other side, we have a dedicated HDMI out. I'm gonna check as to whether or not that is a 2.1 spec, but I don't see why it wouldn't be. And then we have another type A port. And then last but not least, uh, the headphone uh, microphone combo jack. And let's go ahead and open this thing up. And I'm just excited to put it to work because it is a monster. Uh, and that's the beauty of these Lenovo uh, P-Series models is that they really are unlike anything else on the market. Power button right there. Um, we do have power, backlighting is on. I can go ahead and show you what that backlighting looks like. We have a fingerprint scanner, the typical uh, Lenovo uh, touchpad, typical ThinkPad keyboard, which is best in class. We have a webcam that's top center with a privacy switch right here. 
um, and it is a physical switch, not a software or heart, you know, heart built-in hardware switch. So I think there's still something nice to be said about that. And I mentioned before, I believe the resolution of the display is full HD. It looks good. Um, I believe it's an HDR 400 panel, and yep, that is what I believe it is, um, as per the spec. Now, the only place I could find this specific model um, was CDW right now. So this exact build is not even available at present from Lenovo. And the retail for it was a little under 5,400 US dollars. And I think CDW has like a 10 to 12 day um, uh, lead time on this. But if you're looking for this sort of build, um, and it is VPro certified. So if you're worried about, you know, having the highest quality of security as well on your machine, that's another reason to look at this uh, besides all of the niceties that Lenovo uh, brings to the ThinkPad P-Series in general. Um, and I believe Lenovo also gives three years of Premier support with this machine for those of you that are wondering. Uh, the Wi-Fi chipset I didn't mention is a 6E uh, chipset, so that's good for future-proofing. And we have an AX210, I believe that is the actual chipset, uh, Bluetooth 5.1, and I mean, really just a monster. Again, um, the only thing I may have liked to have seen out of this, which I did with the previous Gen P17, was a 4K um, color, you know, certified calibrated display. I think that's something that would uh, suit this machine well, considering it is such a monster. Again, uh, that RTX A5000 with 16 gigs of RAM. I mean, we are in desktop class when you think about it uh, with what Lenovo is putting together here. Uh, in mobile workstations. You know, don't expect phenomenal battery life. That's not what this machine is about. It's estimating a little under three and a half hours. It has a full charge right now. And um, the good news is, is that even though this is only a full HD panel, that will suit most users um, because I think most people that are using a machine like this are going to connect it to an external display, which you're not going to have a problem doing. And then in addition to that, HDR 400, it's bright. Uh, it's going to be fairly color accurate, even though, again, this doesn't carry any certification. Um, the speaker grill right here, I'm expecti expecting to deliver solid sound. And uh, the panel, uh, the screen does go beyond uh, the actual machine itself. So uh, impressive range that you likely will not need to use. Um, not, you know, the typical flex you get out of a ThinkPad. Again, just a beefy machine with uh, specs to match. And I'm excited to see how it performs. I'm expecting it's going to uh, chew up and spit out just about any benchmark I throw at it. And what more could you want from a, you know, a workstation that's portable? Again, think about you know, the ability to have 128 gigs of RAM on this thing. I mean, even at 32, you already pretty much have what you need. I know a lot of people are already working at 64 gigs. That's what I generally have on my desktops. Uh, laptops, usually 32. So, um, you know, right now my G15, which of course is no workstation, but not a slouch, uh, but nothing compared to this. Of course, it's gaming will outperform this, but nothing else. Uh, that machine has 40 gigs of RAM, but we're talking about one soldered DIMM and another one that you can upgrade. Here, we actually have four slots, which is just bonkers. I mean, this isn't the only machine on earth to sport something like that but there aren't that many. So this is in an elite club and it's just an exciting piece of hardware. So if you're in the you know, market for a workstation that is mobile, I think this is, it has to be at the top of your list between um, what is basically the best keyboard in the business. Uh, and then in addition to that, some of the best internal components that you can find on any machine right now. And it, you know, if your budget doesn't support this build, you can take it all the way down um, I believe they started around 3000, which is still a lot, but not for what you're getting here. Because again, portable workstations aren't meant to be affordable. They're meant to be capable. And that's exactly what I'm expecting out of the P15 Gen 2. So really excited about all the power uh, that the ThinkPad P15 Gen 2 brings to the table. Again, this is a high spec build. Um, and the lead time right now at Lenovo is pretty backed up uh, with these orders. I believe they're like specking this out at four months lead time. But you have to bear in mind the pandemic is putting a chokehold on everything. So as a result, um, when I get new machines like this and I'm able to share it with all of you, I'm happy to do so. 
but it doesn't mean that it's going to be in stock at the time you're viewing uh, this unboxing and first look. But I'll keep you all aware. Again, uh, I did find it at CDW with that less than two week lead time. Uh, so I may include a link to that as well. We'll see. But if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.